Good afternoon, guys. My name is Federico. I'm here with Daniela to talk to you about the increase in gender-neutral marketing and hopefully convince you guys that in the future, more brands will continue to adopt this line of marketing. We will be focusing on both the fashion and toy industry. Brands have historically tried to target the products towards one of the two genders. Here we have a picture of the celebrity Jaden Smith modeling what appears to be mainstream menswear. His outfit tells a young male consumer that this is the look he should go for. However, Jaden has recently become one of the leading advocates for breaking down gender stereotypes in fashion. Last year, he appeared in an advert for Louis Vuitton, where he's the leading face of the new women's clothing range. He dons mainstream female clothing, yet he is perfectly comfortable. Yet, Jaden's challenge to gender roles goes beyond his campaign for Louis Vuitton's women's wear. As one can see from these magazine articles, Jaden has repeatedly gone on to break down gender divides by being bold and adopting a more feminine image. Rain Dove was born a female, yet has marketed herself to sell both men and women's wear. Her career actually first launched when she was casted for a Calvin Klein men's underwear runway show. While she was hired because they thought she was a man, Rain has really embraced her androgynous look. She claims that fashion is simply a form of art and gender norms have no place to dictate one's expression. Furthermore, an Australian model called Ruby Rose is a person who has risen to fame as she was one of the very first models who marketed herself as both a feminine and masculine person. She is a pioneer of the term gender fluid, meaning she associates with neither male nor female specifically. She uses her role in the hit Netflix show Orange is the New Black to further promote a challenge to the gender binary world. And these models are not the sole bastions of gender neutrality in fashion as a whole. Fashion companies, such as the world-renowned Prada, have released lines that are non-gender specific. The new pre-fall 2015 Prada campaign shown here plays with what consumers generally associate as beautiful or handsome. Zara has implemented this idea of creating non-gender specific marketing one step further in their adverts for their spring 2015 fashion line. As you can see, both the female and male models are styling the same exact clothes, which shows that these clothes can look great on oneself, no matter what gender one is. These fashion lines have been able to pursue this type of marketing, as department stores right around the world are taking more of an interest in stocking non-gender specific types of clothes. For example, Selfridges has recently released a clothing range called Agender, which specializes in clothes that are particularly non-gender specific. The question that fashion marketers will ask themselves will no longer be, what does he or she want to wear, but what kind of message does the general consumer want to express of him or herself from the clothes they are wearing? Fashion is not just about the clothes, but also the shopping experience, exemplified by Selfridges, which has taken a step towards creating a gender-neutral store space. Thank you, Daniela. Another market that has historically has had a very gender-specific marketing has been the toy market. As you can see from these pictures, boys have been the ones who have traditionally played with action figures, whilst girls have been confined to dressing up the dolls. However, in the past few years, the toy market, like the fashion industry, has become more gender-neutral as well. For example, one can see that there are new female dolls, such as this one from the new Star Wars movie, that focus on other aspects of the character rather than its femininity. One of the early pioneers of gender-neutral marketing was Lego, when back in the 1980s, they launched a revolutionary advert campaign that argued that Lego could be enjoyed by both boys and girls alike, irrespective of their gender. From 1980, toy manufacturers have gone on to use traditionally feminine toys and market them more towards boys. As you can see from this advert, there is a boy that is playing with a play kitchen, which is an item more marketed towards girls. Furthermore, these adverts have incorporated more feminine characteristics in their advertising. For example, in this advert for this fashion set, one can see that there is a boy against a pink drag backdrop, which is a colour more associated with girls. Now I will hand you over to Daniela, who will talk about video games. 
So I'm sure that you guys are all aware, kids now prefer to play video games as opposed to the types of toys mentioned earlier. Whilst video games are marketed towards more men, over the past few years we have seen more video games being targeted towards women as well. For example, a game called The Last of Us tries to do this by having a female lead character in its story. Even in sports games, which tend to be even more targeted towards men, we are seeing that the marketing has become more gender neutral. If one takes the latest edition of FIFA as an example, it is clear that EA Sports is really trying to make the game more gender neutral by allowing players to play women's soccer, which is emphasized by Alex Morgan on its cover. However, despite these great advancements, both in the worlds of fashion and toys, there's still some considerable opposition to the idea of gender neutral marketing for more socially conservative people. For example, this Fox News article states that the type of gender neutral marketing that we have been talking about is something that is socially outrageous. Nevertheless, there is evidence that consumers are actively petitioning their high street stores to stock more gender neutral products. For example, in the UK, the popular retail store Marks and Spencers wrote to one of their customers that they would stock more gender neutral toys. The fact that a company like M&S took this sort of action shows that there is potential for a gender neutral marketing. If companies truly embrace this upcoming phenomenon, the potential power of this innovative marketing tactic is endless as gender-neutral marketing would allow products to tap into a vast new market, which previously they believed was nearly impossible to reach.